this World Cup qualifying campaign, vital, of course, for, for Scotland's progression as a cricketing nation. So it was the passport, not just to the World Cup, to, to all those big glamour ties against the likes of, of England and Australia. How much will you be taking that on board as a group going over to South Africa at the moment? Is it something that will prey at the back of your mind or is it really a case of let, let's go out and win this game and win this tournament? Yeah, I think it is definitely taking each game as it comes and obviously right in the forefront is winning this tournament. If not winning the tournament, then making sure we qualify for the World Cup and that'll lead on to obviously more funding and things like that in the future. Is it pressure? You know, the knowing that going over here, 12 teams, you've got to finish in the top four or effectively bust? Yeah, I think it is obviously pressure, but with that pressure then I think the guys will thrive on it and you know, if you can't play under pressure against the sort of associate nations, then you're never going to be able to do it in the big stage when it comes up against the, the big teams like England and Australia. First game against the Irish, a, a team that everyone in Scotland knows well, and I guess a, a match that we could all see possibly a, a, as the final of the tournament on the 20th of April. It, how, how vital is it, it's, as the old cliche goes, to get off to a good start? Yeah, obviously, in every tournament, it's crucial to get off to a good start and just gives you a bit of confidence and a builds momentum going all the way through the tournament and obviously to do it against Ireland who are like the old enemy then, then it'll be a really good confidence booster A couple of teams in the group that people don't know a lot about Uganda and, and Oman how much how much have you guys been able to familiarise yourselves with their strengths and weaknesses? Yeah obviously that's been tough They've we've not seen much again or heard much really about them so it's going to be a case of learning on the day sort of thing how they play and obviously just adapting to to that, but I'm sure that the guys will cope with that pretty well. Expectations, predictions. Do would you can you see yourselves good enough, strong enough, fit enough to end up winning this tournament and making sure you book your place for for the subcontinent in 2011 in style? Um, I think so. Yeah, obviously you go into every tournament believing that you can win it, and I don't see why this one we can't either. Obviously, there's going to be some stiff competition from the likes of Ireland and. And maybe about you know we've put the hard work in in the winter, and the previous season we we played really well. So I think it's a good chance for the guys to get out there and show the work that we have done in the winter and hopefully win that tournament.